Well, hello everybody, Bug Eater 64 here, and we're going to be doing a flight in FS Airlines. We're going to make a little bit of money here for the fleet. Uh, we're going to be flying the Red Wing uh, L1049 Constellation uh, with a TWA livery on it, and we're going to be flying from Phoenix International to Dallas Fort Worth, just about 800 miles. So it was. Takeoff is mid morning. It's going to take us about 3.7 to 4 hours to get there. Uh, we've got plenty of fuel on board, so let's just see how things go. Let's get inside the cockpit and let's things get things going. Hope you have as much fun as I do flying this old girl. See you inside. Yeah, so here we are. Let's get in the old girl. Get ready to leave Phoenix, Arizona. So let's get things set up here. We're going to do this the easy way. I could just have it already started and so on. But we're going to go from a cold start, and but we're going to get the uh, co pilot and flight engineer assistance. So let's start our checklist. Checklist before starting engines. Remove before flight. Checked. Battery. On. Dome light. On and white. Now we got our FS Airlines getting started Lights. here. On. Radio and instrument switches. On. COM1 and COM2 panels. On. And OK. Ground power. Connected. Now according to the flight plan, our All block service. fuel is supposed to be 5,900 pounds. We've got plenty of fuel on board the aircraft because it's uh, we've got over 12,000. Parking brake. So we should be Checked in good shape. That was already on board the aircraft, so Aaron and no issues. Boosters. On. Elevator booster. On. Ordinance lights. On. Cabin lights on. And on the pedestal there, you can see our stairs on. Very limited autopilot. Main door open. Basically, just handles. Uh, you can put it on a heading setting. Checked. And you can control altitude with it. Very basic, but it does get the Emergency job done. Emergency cutoff levers on. So there is our bird, and of course the stewardess is waiting for the passengers to get on board. Call flaps. One, two, three, four, open. Carburetor air. One, two, three, four, set to cold. Oil cooler flaps. One, two, three, four, open. Cross weight and center of gravity. Weights and balances checked and confirmed. Prepare for boarding. Take a look down here in the cabin. Yep. Nicely appointed. We'll be carrying 52 passengers today. Alrighty. 
Be ready. Chokes. To... Check. Checklist before starting engines complete. Very good. So now we can go ahead and start the engines. Checklist starting engines. Position lights. On. Starter engine 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ignition engine 3. Hydraulic 2 to hydraulic 1 crossfit. Checked and OK. Generator 3. On. Okay, so we've Starter gone through starting one. the engines. We're going to start up our last engine, engine one, number one. Two, three, four, five, six. Ignition engine one. Generator one. On. Checklist right. starting engines completed. Checklist during warm up. Python covers and gear pits. All on board. Ground power. Off. Battery and generators. Checked. Engine instruments. Checked. Also pilot gyro. Caged and released. Radios. Set. Checklist warm up completed. Alright. So we're just about ready to taxi. Checklist taxiing. Taxi lights. On and extended. Clock and altimeters. Set and set. Brake selector lever. Set. All turn indicators. Checked. Checked. Proper As reversing. want to be actually checklist. moving taxi when they do completed. that taxi checklist because <laughs> you'll be going moving all of a sudden the engines will be going into reverse mode so you definitely want to get that pre-taxi checklist done before you release the brakes and start going but the gyro is caged you always tell me that, but it's not. Anyway, let's get ready. We'll double check it, but I'm not, it's not caged. Nope, it looks pretty uh, normal to me. But then again, that's just this old guy. Here we go. Let's get down to runway 8 
wants the follow me truck. I don't know what it wants. I know how to get to the runway. Alright dude, get out of my way. Pull over to that other taxiway. Okay, he's out of the way. Let's get down to the other car is caged. Red up ignition. One completed. Two completed. Three completed. Four completed. Run up feathering. One completed. Two completed. Three completed. Okay, and this is what Four happens when you completed. don't pay attention. <laughs> Door and we look at a little bit Tabs wide getting to closed. the hold closed. short line. Trim tabs checked. Flaps sixty percent. Wing flaps test. Check. Flaps sixty percent set. Auxiliary control boosters on. Auto feather. And the takeoff. All right. Landing lights on. Mixtures. Auto rich. Keep it richer air. Cold. Air conditioning. Panel set. Fuel pumps. One, two, three, four. High. Oil cooler flaps. Set. Checklist before takeoff completed. So we can now move out onto our runway and get ready to take off. All right, put on the parking brake. We can go through our Takeoff checklist. Checklist takeoff clearance. Coal flaps. Set to 30%. Controls. Free. No go speed is 103 knots. Runway is dry. Checklist takeoff completed. Alright, let's do this thing. Max power, please. Max power. Roger. Max power. Brakes released. Now 
Make sure that door was closed. No go speed. Pretend to rotate. Flaps up. Wing flaps. Up. Auxiliary control boosters. Off. Nose light. Flaps off. up. Taxi light. Veto power. Retracted and off. Roger. Five hundred power. Feet. Fuel pumps. One, two, three, four. Low. Oil cooler flaps. Set. Set. Freezer ring. Off. Coal flaps. Set. Ordinance lights. Off. Climb checklist completed. All right, so we climbing to 12,000 feet, which will be our cruising altitude for today. Climb power. Roger. So at this point, everything is to be working in nominal condition. Flight has started, so we're going to get credit for whatever happens. So let's speed things up. We got uh, almost four hours of flight. Turn on the autopilot. And you can see how we control the heading. Of course, it's sped up right now, but. Uh, got the heading controlled, let's do our altitude control, which we can control with the two small wheels. Good climb rate for this aircraft is somewhere between uh, 500 and 1500 feet per minute. It depends on how much of a hurry you're in. So here we are. Engine one. It's telling me I shut down engine one and also to shut down engine four because it's telling me they're out of fuel. Shut down engine one. Which means they either dumped a crap load of fuel on during the flight. But I checked uh, FS Airlines. Shut down engine one. And uh, it's still showing because it keeps track of fuel usage and so on. And it's still saying at this point I had 5,900 pounds or 5,600 pounds engine one. Flaps of fuel, so I had plenty seven. of fuel. Yet it was telling me that uh, I needed to shut down the engine because we were running out of fuel. So, don't know what was going on with that, but minor issue, I just kept it at flying and everything went fine, so... Not sure what happened, but it didn't affect the flight. 
Oh, and the fact that the flight engineer wouldn't shut up. Five hundred feet, flaps eighty percent set. Four hundred. Shut down engine one. Not till after we land, thank you. Shut down engine one. Three hundred. Shut down engine one. Two hundred. It flaps one hundred percent. Shut down engine one. One hundred. Fifty. Ease her down. Twenty. No go speed. Okay. Nice touchdown. Reverse. Hit the reversers. Speed down. Safe. Welcome to Dallas Fort Worth. We'll go over here. Flaps 80 percent set. Roger. Flaps up. Clean up the aircraft and go park it. Flaps up. Alright, so we're just going to pull straight up here and park it and shut her down. Flight went very well. No real issues except for the fuel usage problem and I'm not sure if that was something in this with the sim or just what was going on there but we're here we're here safe Park and brake on. And we can end the flight. So we're looking good. Yep. Made a little over $3 million for one flight. That'll work.
All right, let's shut everything After down. After landing checklist. Coal flaps. Set. Oil cooler flaps. Set to 30%. Fuel pumps. One, two, three, four. Off. Master RPM control. Set. Auxiliary control boosters. Off. Wing flaps. Up. After landing checklist completed. Now shut her down. On parking checklist. Brake selector lever. Emerge. O deletion. Set. Engine 1 ignition off. Engine 4 ignition off. Engine 2 ignition off. Engine 3 ignition off. Chokes on. Ordnance lights. Okay, so we can go ahead and get the passengers off the aircraft and say good day completed. Alrighty there, we have it completed, we're done. She is a beautiful old lady, and I sure enjoy flying her, and I sure hope you enjoyed the flight. We made a little over $3 million on that flight, but it wasn't short by any means, 3.7 hours. Landing wasn't the prettiest in the world, but uh, again, a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Beautiful sunsets, and... Uh, what can I say? Just a great flight. So, with that being said, we'll see you next time. And as always, safe flying!